Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is Saida Washington, and today I'm just going to show you guys um, a grocery haul. Me and Jermaine just got back from grocery shopping. We did some grocery shopping at Caddy Four, and I know a lot of Americans are unfamiliar with the pricing here in Kenya, so I'm going to show you exactly what we got for our grocery budget today. So, let me turn my camera around. Okay, so we got meat, and that's going to be for lunches and dinners. We got some household items. We have some breakfast and lunch items. We have some produce and um, more household items. And then we have some juice, and we have bread, and we have snacks. So I'm going to walk you through exactly what each of these um, items cost as soon as I grab my receipts. Because it seems like one of the um, popular topics that we've been getting is how much things cost and what we pay for things here in Kenya. Um, groceries here in Kenya are relatively inexpensive. So let's walk through it. So the first thing we're gonna look at is this juice right here. This juice is pick and peel. It's 100% natural juice. And I'm gonna um, tell you guys what I paid for it, but then I'm gonna also tell you uh, what the US price is. So I'm gonna tell you what the Kenya shilling price is, and then I'm gonna also tell you what the US price is. So in Kenya shilling, this pick and peel juice, each of these are 279 shilling, and that is in USD, $2.16. So for 100% um, natural juice, it's $2.16. And I think Jermaine and I get about four or five cups, um, like eight ounce cups of juice from these bottles here. The other thing we have on our list is this roast turkey. So we usually use roast turkey for breakfast. We'll usually like make some kind of bagel or some kind of sandwich and um, sometimes for lunch. So this roast turkey is 521 shilling. And I'm just gonna do the calculation here. It's 521 shilling. And USD, that's $4. And then I'll also do the calculation, I'll try to remember to do the calculation for um, how many pounds this actually is because in Kenya they do kilograms rather than pounds. So this pack right here is about, looks like three, three slices of turkey. Yeah, looks like three, three slices of turkey. And that one is $4.03. And then this one is 446 shilling. And let's do the calculations for that. 446. And that's $3.45. So $3.45 for that one. So we spent about $7. And like I said, I'll tell you what the calculation is. This is um this is how many kilograms is this? Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, I see 2590. No, I think it's 0 0.194 for that one. And this one is like 0 0.166. So Jermaine said it's some milligrams. So the other thing that we got on our list is chicken breasts. We got these chicken breasts, which are 528 shilling. And the weight is 0 0.96. Is that going to be milligrams or kilograms, babe? You say is it zero point? Zero point nine six. That's killer. When, when you see a point, you most likely it's in kilograms, but okay, at like nine hundred milligrams. It's okay. So the price is the price is five dollars five hundred and fifty shilling per kilogram, and we got just under a full kilogram, and the price. We paid is five twenty eight. And a kilogram is two pounds. And a kilogram is two pounds. Two point two actually. But okay. So we paid for almost two pounds of chicken breast, four dollars and nine cents USD. So that's four dollars and nine cents USD for all of these um, chicken. And those were on promotion. 
So we were gonna wait till next week to get the chicken, but we went ahead and got it and we'll put it in the freezer um, because they were on promotion. Let's see what else is on my list. What else did we get here? We also got corn. So corn was also on offer. Corn was 179 shilling. And I think we got this. We're gonna make some burgers and I think we'll probably have corn. So let's see what that is. Corn, 179 shilling. I already know this is kind of inexpensive. So a dollar thirty-eight. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, that might not have been a great buy. It's not a super great buy. No. Like some stuff is on great buy, not everything. Yeah, because I think in the U.S. sometimes we get corn for like fifty cents an ear. But this is probably non-GMO though. Yes. Yeah, so that is the other thing with this corn. Um. So this corn is Most made likely. here yeah. in Nairobi, Kenya. It says origin Kenya. So that's one thing. So let's say this is organic corn. This is not the 50 cents or 25 cents corn you get at Walmart. This is actually organic corn. So we did actually get a good deal because $1.38 for two ears is actually a good deal for organic corn. So let's see what else. Oh, one thing I've come to love snacking on here in Kenya is these roasted peanuts, which are called ground nuts. And um, I like to get them because they're just easy to eat, easy to snack on when you're hungry. If you look at the ingredients, it's just peanuts and salt. That's it. It's made here in Kenya. And for these peanuts, I paid 215 shilling. So 215 shilling. That is $1.66 for a healthy um, organic snack. So I like to snack on those. Okay, so I'm just going down my um, grocery list. And so the next thing is scissors. And those are these scissors. We find ourselves needing scissors to open up things or to um, cut things. And so we bought these scissors for 181 shilling. So let's see how much 100. Now, you know in the States you can get scissors for a dollar. So we paid a dollar 40 for these um, scissors. They seem like really good scissors. They feel like they're um, sharp. Um, I don't know if it's oh, it's stainless steel. So I don't know. A dollar forty. We needed them, so we went ahead and bought them. Next thing on our list is a tomato. I needed a tomato for dinner, and that was nine shilling. And let's see how much nine shilling is. It's like six cents. So I paid. six cents for a tomato. I've never paid six cents for a tomato in the US, so this is definitely a good deal. You can find great deals on produce here. And the next thing on our list is going to be this bowl that I bought. They have these bowls on offer. Um, it has to be washed out, super dusty, but I needed a bowl to kind of whip up eggs and stuff. The, the bowls that we have here, uh, this kind of like oval shaped bowls and I needed a round bowl. This one is a six inch bowl and it was 275 shilling. So that's $2.13. Actually, that wasn't that great of a deal because I think I could have got a bowl like this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> but there's no Dollar Tree. <laughs> there's no Dollar Tree here. So, so I needed a bowl just like we needed the scissors. Okay, next thing are these dinner plates. We paid 205 shillings for these dinner plates. Let's see how we did on those. <laughs> 205 shillings. A dollar and 58 cents. That's not bad. They're, they're microwave safe, right? They are dishwasher safe. It says extra strong. They're microwave safe, dishwasher safe, breaking chip resistance, food grade, extra strong. So $1.58 for those. We're just adding plates to our um, um, collection so that whenever we do get a plate, place long term, we don't have to start buying dishes. We'll have a few to get us started. All right, next thing is gonna be this minced beef, which we bought to make um, burgers. So it was $8.99 per kg, which is two pounds, about two pounds. And we bought, um, 
zero point seven five kgs, and that was six six hundred and eighty one shilling. So let's see how much that is. Six hundred and eighty one shilling. So it's like a pound and a half for five dollars and twenty seven cents. You say one point something shilling. One point something. It's um. It's a point seven five. Point seven five. Okay. Yeah. Half is one. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's for burgers. What else do we have here? Eggs. Okay, so we have these Karen Fork Organic Eggs. They're free-range eggs. And these actually get stored in the cabinet here in Kenya, not in the refrigerator. You buy them on the shelf in the grocery store. And we pay 384 shilling for 15, 16 eggs, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 eggs. And let's see how much that is. Organic free range eggs. Yes, organic free range eggs. And if you're in the States, you already know how much organic free range eggs cost. But, and I don't even know. Y'all got to tell me. Organic free range eggs, I think they're about $8 in the States, if not uh, more now. For 12, we, we kind of got one of them. It was like $5 for 12 sometimes. And that was for 12. We paid $2.97 for 15 free range eggs oh this oh this one actually says keep refrigerated or in a cool dark place we're going to keep it in a cool dark place that's in the cabinet yeah we keep house in the cabinet i didn't notice that they do say keep refrigerated but eggs are stored on the, um mostly on counters or in the um cabinet or on a shelf here in kenya so let's see what else we got oh snacks so we like these tropical heats the cheese and onion flavor and these were 225 shilling, which is $1.74 for those. And. Yes. No, but. Oh, you need a bread for me? Okay. 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 I'm just saying. Yeah, but I was just saying, like, so we have some bread right there, though, right? But you need one more for me? Yeah, I do. Okay. So this um here is the bread, and these are buns. They are um 164 shilling for one, two, three, four, five, six buns. Let's look at the ingredients. The ingredients, the ingredients are wheat flour, water, vegetable, fat, sugar, improver, salt, yeast. Okay, and they're manufactured in Kenya. Yes, I'm done with that. And they are a dollar sixty, a hundred and sixty-four shilling. So a hundred and sixty-four shilling is a dollar twenty-seven for bread made with wheat flour. You see all of the ingredients. There's not a bunch of foolishness in the ingredients, and it's a dollar and twenty-seven cents for three buns, and they're super soft. But I will tell you. Um, so as we now that we've come to the end of talking about the prices, let's talk about the total. So our total cost for everything was four thousand seven hundred seventy six shillings. And that's a total of thirty seven dollars and two cents for all of the groceries that we got here. And this is groceries for breakfast, lunch. We got some other little items for the house, um, beverages, eggs, and vegetables. All of that for $37. That is unheard of in the US. Now, a few things about storage. Again, like I said with the eggs, our eggs are gonna be stored in the cabinet. Babe, you're not using these eggs, right? No, I'm not turkey. Um, yes, are you gonna brown the turkey or like cook it in there a little bit? Okay, so the eggs, I'm putting them up in the cabinet. This is where we store our eggs. And then as far as the bread goes, what we've learned is if you don't store this bread in an airtight container, because this bread is super soft. I don't know, y'all can't tell, but this soft, this bread is like a roll of tissue, like as soft as a roll of tissue would be. And you have to store it in this container or a container similar to this one that has a sealable top because otherwise the bread will not stay um, soft. The bread, the bread will get hard. Like this one we have, we had it in here for a couple of days and it's still soft. 
Um, but you might want to check it, babe, because no, it's molded. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, it stays soft this time, but it got molded. So that's another thing that um, that I was going to point out to you guys that storing things is different here in Kenya. Um, you have to store bread so that it stays soft. Um, but the bread doesn't have the same shelf life as it does in the States. Nor does the meat, nor does the produce. So you, so we're still learning how to store things, how long things can last. Like milk here doesn't last mm. long. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we'll still, we'll still, we are still learning the process. As you can see, that bread was still soft this time, but it was moldy. But um, I think I showed you guys everything. Um, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you comment. Um, I think we did really good on our budget, on our grocery shopping for this week. Um, if you want to see more videos like this or you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below and I will catch you in the next video.